it's all chaotic. The only way Rashad Billingsley can describe what happened inside River Chase Galleria the night of Thanksgiving. He was inside foot action where the shots were fired. We were in there for about maybe a, maybe a minute, maybe a minute. And um, that's when we had uh, heard the gunshots. And everyone started running. Right then, that's when my military training kicked in once I heard the gunshots. Rashad is a soldier in the Army Reserve. He knew he had to look for a safe place, so he found a hallway and told everyone to follow him. The little girl, Molly, she, um, she had came to him as her, her sister, and her grandmother. They told him the 12-year-old girl was hurt. I just know she was in a crossfire, of the, and, you know, she got struck in her back. And Rashad sprang into action. I went over there. And I told the police officer to grab me a jacket so I, I could apply pressure to the wound. Keeping her calm the entire time. I was just encouraging them to, you know, just stay strong and that she was going to be okay and that, you know, God got her. Rashad still in awe of her bravery. Well, she's very strong. I don't know many people that could have took the pain like she did. Never knowing he'd have to use his military training at home, his family says they're proud of what he did that night. He just did what he was qualified to do. And I thank God he was at the right place at the right time. I just want to thank God for my well-being. And now a lifelong bond with a 12-year-old girl. In Hoover, Larissa Scott, WVTM 13.